guys are gonna love this one. Flying home, well, flying to Amsterdam to take my flight home. Decided I'd be a smart guy and get an extra country, country number 41, by the way, and stop in uh, Bucharest or Bucharest, uh, Romania. Problem is, they will not have me here. This is the issue. The issue here is they won't let me in the country. So I am literally stuck in uh, the airport. I'm stuck in the Buc Bucharest airport for about 18 hours. Nowhere to sleep. Uh, fortunately, I've got money on my card. They've got bars here. They've got cigarettes here. Uh, I think there's some food to eat, obviously. <laughs> and this went nowhere. So I wasn't going to film this, but my boy Bunjo, check out This Is Bunjo Show, by the way, YouTube, that shit, hilarious dude. Uh, he said, you got to document this. And you know what? That guy's right. He's not right that often, but he's right this time. So we're going to do it. I'm going to get grumpier the longer that this vlog goes on, though. Uh, things aren't going to be good for me. But that's my bar right there. I'm going to go here and definitely get some something to drink. I'm going to get several to drink and then maybe I can pass out on the floor. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Uh, have you guys seen that Tom Hanks movie, uh, The Terminal, uh, where he's stuck in no man's land? So I'm Tom Hanks, except I don't want to diddle 12 year olds. So this is going to be a fun adventure. And uh, it'd be cool if you hung out with me for Get some different beers. I'm horrible with it, what the exchange rate is here. So I'm clueless right now. I should probably research how much I'm paying for a beer. Uh, their currency is called lei. That's right, lei. So between Vietnamese dong and uh, Romanian lei, you know, that's a match made in heaven right there. They got some Fanta action going on. Let's take care of business though. We're gonna we're gonna get ourselves a beer, which is uh, Ur Ursus is the name of the beer here. So I'm gonna get myself a beer. Yeah, this is this is life for the next uh, smoking area. Here we go. This is home. This is life for the next uh, whatever it is now, 16, 18 hours, whatever the hell I said. Let's do it. Here we go. Beer number one. Uh, Ursus, I think is how you say the name of this beer here in Romania. That's not bad. The Romanians know their beer. I'll give them that, that's for sure. Great, great tasting. Uh, it's about five bucks for a beer out here, maybe six. So, airport prices, that's fine. Normally in an airport it would be, you know, like 12 bucks back home, that's for sure. So, this is it. This is life now. Hanging out, drinking beer, smoking. Cheers. Time for a day. Feeling lucky. Uh, I've got a little slice of Las Vegas right here. So, you know, I can go get some slots. Now, somebody told me that there's slots in here and I thought their accent said slots. So I got pretty excited for a sec, but they meant slots. Hopefully not too loose. Or wait, loose slots are good, right? Loose slots. Well, no, loose sluts and loose slots are both good, definitely. But we're gonna have to make the best of this. So, slots or no slots. Back in the smoke shack here, yeah, by bar. I'm just sitting on the floor because they took the chairs away. We used to have chairs in here. We were stealing those chairs right there. And then uh, the lady got angry at us for taking chairs. I mean, fuck. Smokers should have chairs too. This is bullshit. Like they say, smoke them if you got them, right? You know, so. Drink them if you got them too, right? You know what time it is. Gotta shovel something, man. Yeah, I gotta... 
after I normally eat the local uh, food, but when you're stuck in an airport, you gotta do what you gotta do, so we're gonna eat like royalty. So that's what Bunjo wants. Bunjo wants that long chicken, that long cock. I've had a few drinks, and I woke up this morning in Istanbul at 5.30 a.m. and I flew here to Bucharest thinking I was gonna have my hotel in um, the Hilton and I should have been sleeping comfortably in that bed right now until Romanian customs said, no, no, you cannot leave the airport. So four beers deep, I'm feeling pretty buzzed. I need to eat some food. So that's why we're here dealing with this action. Let's see what the king has provided for us. Let's rip that egg right open to shit. Um, I did the chicken burger this time. I haven't eaten chicken in weeks. I honestly haven't eaten chicken in weeks. Uh, something about turkey, I'm all about the beef. That's what she said. And uh, what the hell else have I been eating there? I think it's been lots of... I don't know if it's lamb or what's going on in the kebabs and stuff, what I've been eating there, but it wasn't chicken. Um, so I was due for some chicken and yeah, like I said, we're buzzed. We're in the airport here, Bucharest for, you know, another 16 hours or whatever the hell it is. So this became a, uh, what do you guys call that? Mukbang? That sounds like a porno to me, but. Oh, those are hot. That's the best onion ring. <laughs> That's so hot. That's the best onion ring I've eaten in weeks, if not months. Wow. Cheers to you, Bucharest Burger King. That's a fantastic onion ring. Oh my god. Wow. Mm. Oh, we got a little saucy poo in here. What are you? You're like a Heinz. Yeah, I can't even find that in Canada. And Heinz is a Canadian brand, isn't it? It's a sweet chili sauce. And there's my burger. Hey, right, no kidding around. Let's dive in. There's this sweet chili sauce. Oh, it looks like a, I think they call it like a Thai sweet chili sauce back home in Canada. I miss uh, zesty sauce in Canada. Oh. Huh? I've heard that like 1200 times that ringtone from that fucking announcement is going to be stuck in my head it's going to haunt my dreams for years bing bong mm. tasty tasty ring damn right Let's see what's up with crispy chicken, Bill. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a McChicken, I suppose. Got a little bit of your tomato, mayo, lettuce on there. Oh no, it's real white meat in there. That's what she said. Um, it's not bad. Obviously it's overpriced because I'm in the airport. I think it was like 14 bucks for the combo, but what do you do when you live in a shoe, right? Hmm. Yeah, I got fucking buzzed, man. I need to eat and then have some nappy poo action somewhere on a floor or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm happy to have you guys with me. You never talk with your mouthful. That's rude. I'm talking to a fucking mouthful. That's not bad. That'll do. That'll soak up some of that alcohol. Because I'm getting a little bit rippered. Mm. Huh. We'll spare you the details of me eating this a lot. Basically, that's good, but I'm half buzzed, so anything's probably good right now. But um, alcohol or not, these onion rings are the best ever. And Burger King's always had the best onion rings, in my opinion. a and has those big weird ones, and then the breading falls off and shit. Oh, the fuck's going on with them, but that's a tasty onion ring. Oh, yeah, needed that food, bigly.
Oh, last bites there. Throw her back. Mm -hmm. Definitely needed that. Now we gotta go find a little place. Maybe have a little nappy poo. Well, the smoke first, you know me. We have another smoke, obviously. And then, uh, yeah, maybe nappy poo time on the floor. Who knows? I don't know. Who the hell knows? Well, we've done it. We broke down. Uh, had to shell out some money. So I can't do that. I can't try to sleep on the floor anymore. That's, that's horrible. You know, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Actually, yes, I would. And more. Uh, they could use a urinal puck as a pillow or something, too. But, yeah, I had to splurge because it dawned on me. Airport lounge, of course. You know, that's the things for like the upper echelon high society for me. Uh, but it's it's something I had to do. So 45 euros to come hang out up here. And uh, you got all these nice couches and nice AC in here. Spoke. It's complimentary water. I guess it's free. It's weird for me being in here. Um, it's, <laughs> it's like somebody from Baltic Avenue uh, made their way to Park Place. And, or boardwalk for that matter. Now, I'm out of place over here, but I'll take it. Money talks, right? So we're gonna lay down and have ourselves some, some nap action here, because there's lots of places to crash out. I see people up here. It's funny, you can't sleep in the airport unless you have money. Of course, of course, that's, that's the way it goes. I don't even know what we're on now. It's, Nine, ten at night, 11. My time's on Vancouver time, and I don't think it's the same as Turkey time here anymore. I think I'm an hour behind Turkey now. <sighs> yeah, daddy had to spend some bucks. Good times. That's my quarters right here. Lay down as best I can. Okay, so there's a chance that I'm pretty stupid. Spoiler alert. I didn't know that the drinks are free here in the in the lounge. I thought you just pay for the access to hang out up here and maybe get like, you know, um, what do you call that? You know, like continental breakfast kind of style finger foods some water, maybe some juice. You can get liquor, you can get hard alcohol here for free, but I guess you paid the 45 euro to get in here. You're supposed to tip your man though. Don't forget, tip tip your bartender, okay? That's, that's just common courtesy. Um, because why are you gonna pay for a drink in the regular bar downstairs and then you're gonna tip them perhaps anyways why not just pay that money to come up to the lounge and then drink unlimited drinks and just give him tip money so you're actually making more for yourself you're actually drinking more for yourself and actually saving money in the long run so you know here's to your health i'll show you a little gander around everywhere reserved for families here no screaming babies here, fortunately for me. Oh, there's a television over here. I didn't even know there was television. There's some footy going on there. For Bunjo and company who love this stuff for some reason. Hockey's way better, personally. But I'm Canadian, what do I know? But you're Canadian too, Bunjo. Come on, man, get your shit together. Ah, right, right, right. So that was my bar. Earlier today I was drinking there. And I was sitting on the floor down there. But I didn't realize I could have been king of the castle up here the whole time. That's my ringtone. That's my jam right there. Be sure to wear your mask uh, to prevent coronavirus, she's about to tell you. Thank you for your attention.
once again, there's my house. All right, a couple sandwiches on the house. Well, not really on the house because I'm paying, uh, you know, X amount, 45 to be up here and my gin and tonics. Which I'm getting a bit liquored on. Not gonna lie to you about that one. Oh yeah, but Winding things down here at the old airport lounge business class. Uh, this looks like the best one. That's gonna be a bed right there. So it's about one o'clock in the morning now. Um, been chatting with my good man, Michael, over there who didn't want to be filmed, so that's fine, I respect that. And I'm gonna crash out for a bit here. See you when I wake up without my makeup on. That's it, guys. Done. Lights out. See if we can get a couple hours sleep here and fly off to old Amsterdam in the morning. So that's it for me. See you later. Ha ha ha!